Hello, Airbus Cockpit Coach here and welcome back to the Flight Deck. In today's video we're going to break down one of the most important monitoring pages in the Airbus AP20's MCDU and that's the Fuel Prediction page. This page gives you the live predicted fuel data for a flight and today we'll explain how that works and how we use that information in the real world. So let's jump into it. Before we do so, don't forget to hit that thumbs up button and please give the video a like. So we're currently airborne en route from London Luton to Bordeaux and here's our fuel prediction page so it's found simply by pressing the fuel pred button here so let's break down all these bits of information we see so on the top line we have on the left side our destination Lima Foxtrot Bravo Delta so Bordeaux today and in the middle is the time in UTC which is the time reference pilots use across the globe so 12.50 UTC today uh, into Bordeaux and then over on the right is our EFAB, our expected fuel on board when we land. So that's 3.4 tonnes currently. So this is a crucial number and we need this number to be above our minimum required fuel for arrival. Next we have our alternate destination. So we've got Toulouse here today. And our time predicted to Toulouse. And then fuel on board at Toulouse. So this is the fuel predicted if we divert there after reaching our destination. So we use this number to confirm that we can safely continue the flight even in the case of diversion in terms of uh, fuel requirements. Then over on the left side we have routes reserve as a percentage. Now, I haven't completed this today but in the real world my operator use uh, 5% or minimum of 5 minutes flying time fuel reserve. Now, that does vary between operators so do check out standard operating procedures if you are following specific operators. And this percentage covers for unexpected en route factors such as stronger than forecast winds, small routing deviations, inefficient crews and slight weather changes. So it's not for planned delays, that's what alternate and extra fuel are for. This is really for the little discrepancies you may get on any particular flight. Beneath that we have our alternate and time. So to get to our alternate or to lose today we have an expected fuel burn of 1.1 tonnes and 34 minutes of flying time. If we changed our alternate destination we can of course update this information just simply by keying in uh, new fuel figures. Beneath that we have our final time so this is our final reserve fuel and this is calculated for 30 minutes holding at 1500 feet above the alternate airport and essentially this is untouchable fuel. You must land with at least this amount of fuel in the tanks if not you need to declare a mayday and declare a fuel emergency that's important so it's usually 30 minutes of flying time calculated at the inefficient fuel burn height of 1500 feet but essentially if we ever go below half an hour of fuel remaining on the aircraft that's an emergency situation so we don't want to be touching that over on the right side here we have our zero, zero fuel weight and zero fuel weight center of gravity and that's in a percentage of our mean aerodynamic cord and this value is loaded in on the ground from the load sheet pre-departure. So obviously our weight has a huge bearing on fuel burn and how the aircraft's loaded so where our centre gravity is is very important that will affect the efficiency of the flight and therefore impact fuel burn so important figures but they will always be completed by crew before departure. Beneath that we have our current fuel on board uh, which is being monitored by fuel flow and fuel quantity sensors. And coming down to the bottom left here we have our minimum destination fuel on board. So currently 2.1 tonnes. So this is the minimum required fuel at destination and it includes the alternate fuel and the final reserve fuel. If your expected fuel on board up here drops below this figure you'll need to start thinking about declaring minimum fuel which is not the full emergency because we're not touching into the, uh, the final half an hour of fuel but uh, it's essentially a message to air traffic control saying minimum fuel we need to get down as quickly as possible shortcuts as well please if possible to help us out so direct routing or skipping certain waypoints or we may have to divert straight away if needed then on the right side here we have our gross weight and central gravity after fuel was added. This is used by the flight management guidance system to calculate performance and fuel burn. So it essentially shows us how the loading of fuel is impacting upon these weights here. 
And at the bottom we have our extra time, so 1.3 tonnes or 39 minutes of flying currently. So this is the surplus fuel you'll have at destination to 1.3 tonnes, currently 39 minutes of extra flying time. So this is the buffer that gives us some flexibility for unexpected holds, weather or traffic delays when we get to our destination. As you can see it's constantly updating so it's now 1.4 tonnes, 41 minutes. So perhaps winds have changed. So how is this used in uh, airline operations? Well, we've obviously talked through the importance of those figures. Airbus pilots are constantly monitoring the fuel prediction page and doing fuel checks en route, ensuring that the expected fuel on board is staying above the minimum. And we also have enough fuel to reach our alternates. We may become aware of delays en route, in which case we start looking at what our extra time is and planning for that and whether we need to consider diversion. So to recap, the route reserve is typically 5% of the trip fuel, or 5 minutes of flying time in the cruise. We've got a final reserve, it's 30 minutes. We've got our alternate fuel, which is based on a, a real time forecast. And we've got our extra discretionary fuel here, which is important. Making sure this figure up here, the expected fuel on board, doesn't drop below our minimum, is obviously of key importance. So the fuel prediction page gives pilots a complete picture be able to judge fuel sufficiency throughout any particular flight. It's a powerful tool that combines predicted fuel usage with safety margins to keep every flight safe and legal. I hope you found that useful. If you have any questions on that at all, please drop them in the comments and I'll do my best to answer those. And don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button to stay up to date with the latest content. I'll catch you on the next one. Thanks for watching.